If you make less than $50,000 a year or live in a household that combined is less than $50,000 a year, you need to watch this video because in here, I'm going to lay out all the facts about the tech industry and how it can actually help you out so you could get out of that hole. Let's be honest. Living in America is not cheap. Food is expensive. Housing is expensive. God forbid you want to have kids and God forbid you want to buy a home someday. It's almost unattainable for most people that have just regular jobs, right? The nine to five blue collar workers, like literally it's almost impossible for people to go in and be able to live the American dream anymore. Now, I want you guys to hear me out on this. The middle class is disappearing. Those blue collar jobs that allow you to survive, be able to have a family, buy a home, take care of your kids, maybe send them to college one day. Like, it's just not cutting it anymore because things are becoming way more expensive. Now, this reminds me of Latin America. Hey, by the way, I'm Dominican, right? I was born over there, but I was raised here in the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen. Now, this reminds me a lot of like Mexico. And you might say, Mexico, Joe, I mean, people is migrating here to the United States. Shoot, Mexico must be a shithole. You'll be surprised. Mexico is actually one of the richest countries in all of Latin America, one of the top countries in the world. But guess what? The difference between someone who's poor and someone who's rich, that gap is huge. And now this is what's happening to this country too. Okay. Those little regular jobs that you had, right? That took care of you and maybe your parents took care of you with that little bullshit job. Guess what? It's not going to cut it. You need to have a high paying job to really make it and live in the United States, not survive. I'm talking about living. All right. You need to have a high paying job. You need something that is a career that you can actually grow, that the more time and experience that you have in that field, the more money you make, that there's growth, that there's skills that you can use for yourself, either to build your own business or to work with clients and et cetera. Like, this is what the tech industry provides you. Now, there's multiple roles in the tech industry. I mean, we have things like front-end developer, back-end developer, content manager, email developer. We have software engineer. We have tech sales. We have support engineer. There's so many different roles within the tech industry. And that's the industry that you want to be focusing on because that's what's going to help you get out of that hole that you're in. America's changing. And it's becoming more about the white collar worker than the blue collar or the pink collar worker. And what's crazy is that most of the people who are in the tech industry, they're coming from either parents that are white collar workers or people who already have a good foundation for them to go in and jump into this career. But now the people that need it the most are not even paying attention to this. I give you a great example. I mean, this thing changed my life, right? I grew up with my mom, right? Single parent, then two sisters. And basically, I never even had my own bedroom. I mean, I'm from New York. So you know how it is. It's expensive to live in New York, and especially when you're living with under $30,000 a year. I mean, my mom was just like a hustler, doing taxi, doing teacher assistant, you know, working as a waitress. Like she's done everything that she could to give us the best future that, you know, we could have, right? And just support us. But I can tell you that if I didn't go into the tech industry, I would have been in the same cycle, right? I have so many friends that, you know, either are doing things like living in a project or section eight, or, you know, they work at retail companies and, you know, standing all day and you see their lifestyle compared to mine. And there's literally no growth. I mean, look, without a bachelor's degree, I was still able to get in the industry, get hired, get to the point where I was getting offers that are above $100,000, right? I was able to build my own businesses using the skills that I basically got from the jobs that I had, right? And I was able to go in and make my own path. That's what it was able to do for me. But if I didn't come into this game, who knows where I would be at, right? You have to start thinking about what your future is going to look like. You know, the only thing that keeps me up at night is when I don't know 
what's my next plan for my next five years, right? If you're the type of person that's just living through life and not have a plan of where you want to be at in the next five years, it's going to be very ugly for you out here. That's just the facts. You need to start planning out your life. And this is one of those things that could really change the trajectory of how your life is going to be. For me, it did wonders, right? I mean, I'm telling you, this basically changed my life and not only just mine, but my family and probably, you know, my whole bloodline, <laughs> to be honest with you, right? Because I'm able to set up a foundation for the people that come after me, the kids, the grandkids, like that's just the facts, right? I mean, from buying a home, having investments, right? Being able to have extra money to give to my family, help them out. So not only am I doing it, my immediate family, but now I'm also extending to other family members, helping them and putting them into positions, right? Somebody has to break the cycle. And this is what the tech industry has done for me. And I believe it can do for you. You just have to go in and apply yourself. Yes, it's something new. Yes, it's some skills that you're going to have to go in and sit down in front of a computer. Maybe you're the type of person that likes to talk and walk around. This, this, Guess what? Sit your ass in front of a computer. Learn the skills that you need to learn because it's worth it. That it takes you a month to learn a skill, that it takes you six months, that it takes you a year. It's going to be a change. There's going to be a moment where you could finally say, I'm out of this bullshit job and now I'm here. Because if you don't break the cycle... And if you're not the one that take, you know, risk and say, you know what? I'm going to go into a new industry. I'm going to go and learn new skills. I'm going to update my system, okay, and learn something new, put myself in a better situation. If you don't do that, guess what? No one else is going to do it for you. You have to be the one to decide this. You have to be the one to say, I'm going to go for this path, right? And I'm going to complete it. I'm going to get it done. Like I said, that it takes you a month or it takes you a year, it doesn't matter. What's important is that at the end of the tunnel, there's a light. And as long as you keep walking towards that light, you're going to get out of that hole. If not, you're always going to stay there. And as you guys can see, with everything in the economy, how the country is going, guess what? We don't have the luxury to stay still. We don't have the luxury to just wait until somebody comes in and, you know, takes care of us. Or one day maybe we'll have a good president or a good governor or a good mayor that will make it easier for us. You know, the people that's working hard and somehow seem like we never get to move forward. Guess what? No one's going to do it for us. We have to do it ourselves. And, you know, the tech industry is just another option. You know, there might be some other options out there that I don't know about. You know, what I know is about tech and just the, the jobs that are in here, you know, because this is what has helped me. But I don't even care what you decide to do. What I care about is that you figure something out and understand, yo, you need to get a career. This is no joke no more. You need to get your bags. You need to get your money up because right now is going to be a huge divide. You don't want to be on this side. You want to be on this side. Okay. The people that didn't move and didn't want to do anything for themselves, they're going to go that way. Right. And we're going to go this way. Okay. I want you to come here with me. I want you to come on this side where things is much better, much easier. We're not talking about being rich. We're talking about living. We don't want to be in that group surviving and just getting the crumbs that comes from the top. You want to be in this side where you're getting paid well, where you're working at good companies, you're getting good benefits, right? You're getting matching 401ks, right? You, you're getting things that's setting you up for success, right? This is the side, right? For me, it's the tech industry. For whatever the other side is doing, that's what I'm done. But I know that I got to work hard. I got to learn new skills. I got to update my system. And I needed to get into the, the tech industry because I knew that's where, you know, the world is moving to. I mean, we saw it in the 90s, the dot-com bubble. We saw it in the 2000s with the social media. Now we're seeing it with AI. Everything is moving towards this. Everything else that's on the other side is like little bullshit jobs, 
right? Unless you're like in, in you know, the healthcare system, which is good, right? Uh, but most of the other jobs that's over there, it's like they're not moving like this industry. So you want to go towards where the money is, especially when you don't have the luxury to say, well, I'll do whatever I love. I want to be a sociologist. I want to be a freaking, I don't know, some random degree, you know, get an English major. Like, them shits is not going nowhere. You want to be focusing on this in the tech industry, the jobs that's in that field, so you could actually go in and have a good life. Because that's what's going to happen in the next few years. And we might see some changes that you're going to be shocked and you're going to be like, damn. And guess what? When everyone scrambles and be like, well, now I want to go into the tech industry. Guess what? You want to be part of the people that's already in. So when all of these people that left everything for last, right? They left it for last minute. You could say, yeah, I got five years, 10 years in the game. You're going to have priority with the jobs. You're going to have priorities within the companies. The people that's just starting five years from now, it's going to be extremely hard for them. You don't want to be part of that group scrambling, trying to get into the tech industry. You want to get in now, okay? Before the doors get closed, before this whole thing becomes like Elysium, where it's like you only have the ultra rich and then you have the ultra poor. I'd rather be up here. You know what I'm saying? Than being down here. So again, guys, just leaving you guys some motivation putting some, you know, some information into your brain, getting you ready for, you know, the switch that you're about to do. And I also want to let you guys know that, yes, you know, I have a company called CodingPhase.com, right? Now, in CodingPhase.com, what I do is I help regular people just like you get into the tech industry, make it easier, right? This thing is not supposed to be just for the poppy and mommy kids, the, you know, the blue collar workers that already had a good job and they're like, yeah, man, I'll go to a $20,000 boot camp and now I'll become a developer. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for the regular folks. The dude that's an Uber driver, the girl who's working as a waitress, the guy who's working in construction and his back hurt and he still got to show up to work. These are the people that I come in and help, right? Now, of course, if you are a blue collar baby, right, and you're like, hey, I want to join, like, shit, you could come. But again, that lets you know that if I could help anybody in here, right, get into the game, I can do the same thing for you, right? There's a lot of people that have came to codingphase.com. Go check it out. Links in the description. Make sure you go in and check out the link because right now we're running a 50% off, like literally. Right now, 50% off on the summer right there. Links in the description and you can come in and I'll help you out, right? We give you all the courses. We do coaching, right? Group meetings, right? Um, at the same time, we even search for jobs for you and we give you that jobs list for free, okay? We have a team that works towards helping you out to get into the tech industry, right? If you're interested in this, come check out the website and yeah, take action. Again, I don't care if you come to my platform. I'm just one person here that's been doing this for over eight years, helping people get into the game. If you want to come and work with me, great. Hallelujah. I'll help you out. But if you find something else, another avenue, another uh, you know, platform or whatever it is, go. Just do it. You get know what I'm saying? I want you to do it. What I want is for you to win. I don't want you to stay behind because at the end of the day, these opportunities, right, is for us, right? We need it the most. You and me know what we're talking about, okay? We don't got to spell it out for, for anybody. You and me need it the most, okay? Because guess what? If no one else is going to break the cycle, then who will, all right? Check out the links in the description, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.